Hey, what's going on guys, Taking here today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now, uh, before you all say anything down in the comment section, I know that this effect is very, very linear. Uh, I tried to fix it, like I tried to use all different sorts of stuff, whatever, to, to just sort of make it a bit more smooth, but nothing fucking worked. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've settled on uploading it like this, but you know, if you want to give it a crack, you know, just make, uh, make it less linear. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so this is the setup that we're going to need to actually make the effect. So down here, we have our song, and the uh, this clip ends on the beat we sort of want the transition to start on. Uh, right here in between, we have the newspaper, and this is the beat we want it to end on. So if you just play everything back, uh, you should have a setup that looks roughly like this. just like that now if you do not have any velocity settings or any impact settings uh there is a folder in the description that i have in basically all my videos that includes a whole bunch of free presets that you guys can use uh to just sort of follow along in these tutorials without needing my exact settings uh, so just go ahead and download that if you want the exact settings you can go ahead and buy my edit pack with zaver of course but i'm not going to push that on you guys too hard uh so right here essentially we have this and there are a couple things we're going to want to start off by doing so firstly, just make sure that the velocity right here is just what you want it to be because you will not be able to change this later. So uh, what we need to do is go to the end here. We got one frame. So one frame, drag this out, go back here, right click, insert remove envelope, freeze frame and cursor, and then go ahead and split it. Then go ahead and make a new video track by pressing control shift Q on your keyboard. And then you want to drag this up. Just make sure that this is set at 0%, which it was not 0%. There we go. And if we go on, just, we, we're going to want to go ahead and just drag this across the entire newspaper. So if you play it right here, there shouldn't be any noticeable of a hitch in the, in the video. So let's go and do that. As you can see, it just sort of freezes sort of smoothly. And we're going to do roughly the same thing on the other side. So what we want to do is just split the other clips sort of like halfway here. And then we drag this out one frame backwards. So one frame, go ahead and split it right here. Go to the other uh, start of this frame. Right click, insert, remove envelope, freeze frame, cursor. Make sure it's at 0%, make a new video track, drag that up, go back to the start right here, and drag all of these out. Uh, now, just make sure that everything is, of course, frozen. If that, if something does happen, just make sure to just redo the process. And, okay, that's not good. So, what we actually want, just want to make sure we've done is to uh, just not have any effects on any of these. Just going to remove all of these if you do have any any effects on them. So it should be roughly like that. And of course, right here, just make sure... What the fuck happened, bro? Like, literally what happened here? I'm so confused. All right, whatever. If the effects just sort of mess up, just apply the beat shake again. Like, it doesn't matter. Just like that. And if we... Oh, for fuck's... Okay. Oh, well, I'm, 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 I'm shambles, boys. So if you play this back right here, it should just be sort of a smooth transition, I guess. Should be no noticeable hitch or anything like that. So just make sure that there isn't any of that. Are these not keyframed? Why are they not keyframed? I, I don't get it. Um, beat shake. It's not fucking keyframed. What? Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on just a minute here. There we go. Lovely. All right. It's fine now. So there should not be any noticeable hitch here when we play this. Uh, just like that, which is good. Now, what we actually want to do is uh, a bit unconventional. So what we're going to want to do is just go up in here and click on track motion. Then once the screen opens up, you're going to want to just minimize this sort of like that. Sort of into that size, and then you're gonna to want to do uh, just go ahead and mute the uh, the bottom one, right there. Mute the other layer, and now we can see this is on the actual newspaper. So what we need to do is just drag this over an area that it sort of fits in on. So for me, that's gonna be like up there roughly. Uh, you don't really want it to overlap with any text. Just make it look a bit better. You don't really want it to be fucking like anywhere, but it can realistically be wherever you want it to be. Uh, so once you've done that, just go ahead and unmute the second track and just do the same thing here. 
Uh, make sure it's the exact same size as the other one, because uh, otherwise it'll look weird. So just make sure that you have roughly the same size. Great, and then just drag that down, sort of here, I'd say. They don't have to, they don't have to be exact, of course, but it does look a whole lot better when nothing is overlapping, like I just said. And there we go. Now what we want to do is go ahead and go up here and search for black and white. Just drag the default onto both of these and set these to like 0 0.9. You don't want them to be completely black, but you don't really want them to have that much saturation. So it's 0 0.9. This obviously depends on the newspaper you have. If you have a newspaper that's like really colorful, whatever, you can definitely keep the colors. Uh, but I am just going to keep the black and white. So now what we need to do now is just select this area right here by moving these yellow triangles to the loop regions up here. And now we need to render this out. So just go ahead and save it first. Control S 05-10 tutorial. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and file render. And we're just going to render these out preferably in 4K. It'll be a whole lot easier later. So just go ahead and do that. Just render it on 4K. Should not take long whatsoever because it is literally just a still frame. So if we go and render this out, it should take, yeah, like no time at all. And uh, I don't even have to cut here because I can just drag this in right away. Um, if it does work, can it work, please? Would be appreciated. Much obliged. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to make a new video track. Control Shift Q and drag this in. Go ahead and delete the audio track. And now we have this. Uh, you can go ahead and delete these bottom three right here. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, but I, you can just mute them as well if you don't really feel you've done it correctly. Uh, now what we want to do is go up here and uh, sort of go into track motion. And what we need to do now is zoom the entire thing in on the first video. Uh, it doesn't have to be flawless, but it does need to be sort of like that. Uh, now what we need to do is just go like two thirds of the way in really here. And now we want to zoom this out fully and just go down and just go to sort of where you want them to zoom in on the second uh, sort of newspaper. So let's see how that looks. You also want to set the first keyframe to fast and let's just play it back. Just like that. Uh, the reason I'm not zooming this out directly is because of the linear stuff that Vegas has. Because if you make a keyframe right here where you've zoomed it out entirely, there is literally no way to make the, uh, the zoom down look good. I have tried everything. So please trust me when I say j just have it zoomed down instantly. Really. Uh, and after that, just go ahead and uh, go to the, uh, the last keyframe right here, the last position, or the second to last so we can actually see what's happening. Uh, and just zoom this into the uh the screen so just make sure you just just do what we did on the other first frame right here it does not need to be perfect once again because we do have a um we do have a beat shake here so uh if we just go ahead and play this back right here it should look something like this all right we need to set that to fast as well completely forgot no we need to set that to slow that's my bad so set that to slow and let's see Yeah, obviously extremely linear, but there's just nothing you can do to fix that, really. You can go into your track effects and turn the smoothness up to like 50 on both of these. Uh, they don't really do that much of a difference, if I'm going to be honest. Like, it's just not amazing. But let's play it back. As you can see, it sort of shakes for some fucking reason. Like, that's why I tend to avoid it. It just doesn't work with these zoom down stuff, which is a bit unfortunate, really. But uh, now, essentially, the last thing we need to do is just apply a uh, sort of impact here. I have a bunch of them in the description that you can get for free. So just going to get one of those and just play around with them. And I'm going to apply my uh, pro. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, what's happening? I'm going to apply my just a dissolve shake right here. Just Y rapid. And then we just keyframe that and go down. And uh, those are probably going to be uh, blurred out or whatever because of because uh, of the edit pack leak or whatever. I can't really leak stuff that's in my edit pack. Would be really fair to the people who do actually buy it. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and play around with a, a beat shake on the newspaper. And then you can just go ahead and 
add a beach shake down there and let's just sort of see uh the final product and sort of how it looks so yeah here we go all right well that looked awful i'll fix it later for the for the intro whatever just apply a beach shake i'll probably just do a beach shake here and just make sure everything looks good i guess i don't really know what else to say here that obviously looked bad as well but uh yeah that's essentially it thank you guys so much for watching if you do enjoy me or if you didn't enjoy me just like down below comment subscribe all that good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace